Um, Amitabh Bachchan is on his way to the airport. We're going to reach him right now. And uh, I'm not sure if we've got the connection with Mumbai with Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. We have the connection. We have. We do. All right, Mr. Bachchan, a very good morning to you from South Africa and welcome to our show. Uh, same to you. Thank you for having me. And thank you for taking your time out of your hectic schedule. Um, we're going to just take a few minutes off your time and, and find out what, what's ticking with Mr. Amitabh Bachchan with some of the latest movies that are on release. And, and first, let me start by saying you've got three releases around the world in almost as many weeks. And when you think about it, a lot of the, your contemporaries who were acting alongside you when you began your career in the late 60s, early 70s, passed their sell-by date a long, long time ago. But the legend continues at the age of 62. What's the secret of your success? I've just been very fortunate. Uh, um, I think uh, God's been kind. Uh, I've had a desire to work as, uh, so long as I can keep healthy. And there have been people who have a desire to work with me. Uh, and I just, as I said, very fortunate to be um, uh, getting some work with uh, some of the young directors and the finest talents that we have in our country. And, and talking about the young directors, you know, you, you've played uh, diverse roles from the strict principle of the Gurukul in Mohabbate um, to the uh, the mastermind in Arkhead to a doting father and husband in Bhagavan. And now you've got some really, really uh, uh, brilliant and diverse roles in movies like Divar, Dev and Laksh. Let's start with Dev. Yeah, it's, it's a movie that's caused an outcry around the world in some of the cities. It, it deals with sensitive and controversial issues. What is your reaction to the movie? I think it's been um, made with a lot of sincerity. It's very stark. Uh, it's disturbing. But then uh, the events that are portrayed in the film are, are equally disturbing. Um, you know, there is no intention to uh, highlight any particular moment or issue. But I think uh, what the director wanted to say really was that these are facts of life and this is um, these are things that happen. And what would two people serving the same institution, and that also an important one like the police was, uh, how would they react if if they were working for a similar cause but uh, had different ideologies? And, and you've, you've worked uh, with the director in the movie, Dev, the, the very talented Govind Nihalani, um, who's, who's teamed you up with uh, another very successful character actor in Ompuri. That must have been quite an experience even for a legend and a superstar as yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've uh, always admired Govind's work and I've always admired Mr. Ompuri as an actor. It was wonderful to have an opportunity to work with him. We're going to talk about a, a young director in Faran Akhtar who's directed another one of, another one of your uh, uh, big movies that's just launched around the world. And that's the movie Laksh. And, and his father, Javed Akhtar, was responsible for writing many of the successful movies that you starred in. Um, yeah. What was the experience like working with a young, talented man like Faran Akhtar? Faran Akhtar already proved his credentials uh, with his very first film, Dil Chata Hai. And uh, very, very bright. And uh, for somebody his age, and starting off uh, direction for the first time, I thought it was an amazing experience. One that, uh, you know, entire country and indeed the whole world uh, was a witness to. When he came and asked me for, for my participation in Laksh, obviously it was very difficult for me to say no, primarily because he was Javed Akhtar's son. Uh, he's grown up in front of me, he and Abhishek, you know, they've virtually, uh, you know, grown up in front of me, I've seen them at birthday parties wearing Superman costumes and cowboy outfits, uh, and then suddenly to be, you know, handling this uh, magnificent subject and, and doing it so well, uh, I had to be a part of it, and that's why I, I worked in Laksh. And, and the movie Laksh, Mr. Bachchan, is based on the on the Kargil conflict. Um, it's it's a it's billed as the coming of age movie. In your opinion, is Laksh relevant for uh, for India today and for people around the world who um, are? are are exposed to what, what's happened in Kargil? I, I think uh, Kargil is merely uh, uh, an incident. Uh, the story really is uh, uh, revolves around the boy, which is um, played by Riti Groshan, and his desire to achieve a goal in his life. Uh, the goal comes in the shape of, of a challenge, and that uh, the challenge is his participation uh, in, the, uh, in the army, and then designated by the army to go uh, on a particular mission, which incidentally happens to be Kargil. So it's not so much about Kargil, it's more about his own personal conquest, his own personal emotions, um, and his own achievements as a human being rather than one of um, winning a war. 
Now, we, we know from, from critiques reports that um, you've been quoted as saying that you, you take your job very sincerely um, and you've put a lot of effort and energy into every single role that you play. Um, in Lux, for example, you, you have a character-based role. How difficult is it for, for an actor who's been in the industry for more than three decades to play a character role as opposed to um, other more uh, uh, commercially successful and accepted roles? Um, I think... Uh there comes a time in the life of every actor where he has to realize that he's, he's grown in age, uh, his face uh, is uh, not suitable for younger roles, uh, that he has to move on, that he has to make way for, for other younger uh, actors to come in. And uh, I think one has to resign himself to that. Um, and the sooner you do it, the better. That is if you want to continue working in movies. To expect me to be playing college students and uh, wooing young ladies would uh, so, uh, once you're reconciled to the fact, I don't see why it should be a problem accepting character roles. Now, you've got a few more releases that's earmarked for, for later on this year, and, and one of the big releases that's been talked about is a movie that uh, builds uh, Ashwari Rai and Vivek Oberoi alongside um, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, a movie called Q Hogeya Na. Is that movie now already in post-production? Yeah, it's in post-production now, and uh, I think probably looking at August-September release. Uh, okay, I have to ask you, because a lot of the people in South Africa want to know about the movies that you're going to be starring alongside Abhishek Bachchan in, a movie called uh, Ranveer that we've heard about and another one called Virud. What, what can we expect from the father-son duo in, in these movies? Ranveer is a fact, uh, not Virud. Virud is uh, uh, being directed by Mahesh Manjeka, as Sharmila Tagore playing my wife, and we have John Abraham playing my son. Um, but Ranveer has got going to have a father-son relationship story. It's going to be made by Rajkumar Santoshi. Uh, but the other one that uh, uh, that we are starting is a film called Sarkar, which is going to be directed by Ram Gopal Varma, and it's uh, it's going to be based on The Godfather. And 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 do you and Abhishek get to sit down after dinner and, and discuss what you're going to do differently in this movie? Yeah. Uh, well, after dinner, before dinner, whenever we get an opportunity <laughs> to talk here, so. All right, and this just before, I know you're in a hurry to get to the airport, Mr. Butchan, and but just as a parting shot, away from the acting, it might interest you to note that um, your singing uh, credentials have proved exceptionally successful in South Africa to the extent that Chali Chali from Bagh Ban was Song of the Year for 2003 here on the charts in South Africa. Does that surprise you at all? I love South Africa. This is tremendous. Uh, thank you for all the, uh, all the grace that they showed me. I'm not a singer, but... Uh, if, as you say, this was the song that topped the charts, well, what can I say? Um, I, I'm grateful, I'm, I'm, I'm deeply humbled, and I hope that uh, I continue to get the patronage. Not to say that I'm confirming that I'm going to be singing more songs, <laughs> but um, whenever there's an odd effort that I make, I hope that the people will enjoy it. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, it's an al always a, an, an absolute honor and a pleasure to talk to you. We wish you absolute success and, and many more brilliant blockbusters in the future and keep giving us the brilliant performances you continue to do. Thank you so much. Wonderful Thank you. talking to you. Give my love to South Africa. There we go. That's the Bollywood legend, uh, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, uh, live on the line for, uh, to us from Mumbai on this weekend liftoff. This has been a Ray Vikash pre uh, presentation with Ray Maharaj in Durban. And Vikash Mathura in Johannesburg. And remember, if you're going to be out on the roads today, don't drive any faster than your guardian angel can fly.